superstars, welcome back. This week we're going to read one of my all-time favorite books. It's The Mitten by Jan Brett. Something to look for is in the margins of the story over here on the side, Jan Brett always gives us a hint as to what's coming next. This is one of my favorite stories because it takes place in winter and I know it's really warm outside right now, but it's supposed to be snowing. And let's find out what happens with this mitten, shall we? Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his mittens made from wool as white as snow. Let's think about that, you guys. If the mittens are as white as snow, what's the problem with that? Okay, yeah, they would get dirty because that's what moms like I think, but also, if you drop them in the snow, can you find it? Because it's as white as snow. It would be hard to find, right? Here's the picture. And see over here on the margin, we see a picture of what's coming next. It looks like a grandma that's knitting. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally, Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you have your snow white mittens. So off Nicky went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. Can you guys see the mitten right here? Look what's coming next. A mole, that was the picture of a mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. Look what's next. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stood for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in feet first. The mole didn't think there was enough room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. Do you see what's coming next? Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along, having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat. He decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. A hedgehog has these little prickling needles all over its body and back. But look what's coming next. How were they finding all the room in the mitten? As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. And let's take a look at the talons. Those are the nails, right? at the end of the owl's feet. Do you see them? What's happening to the mitten? It's getting stretched out. Who's that coming next? Up through the snow appeared a badger. Some people think it's a skunk, but it's a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. Take a look at the diggers. Do you see them? He's got some big claws. And look at the mitten, you guys. That's getting so full. Who's next? It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. 
A waft of warm steam rose in the air and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel a bit drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in when the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth. They gave the fox lots of room. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size. But Baba's good knitting held fast. Do you see who's coming next? Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. You guys, we have lots of acorns around Matthews because we have lots of oak trees and they're about that big. Do you guys see the mouse on top of the bear's nose? The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Are you ready? Can you do this with me? Ah, 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 choo! Let's do it again one more time. Ready? Ah, 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 choo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. Look at the animals, they're scattering everywhere. And then what's coming up next here? We see the boy running. On his way home, Nikki saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten, silhouetted against the blue sky. Do you guys see the mitten? As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Bubba's face in the window. First she looked to see if he was safe and sound, then she saw that he still held his new mittens. And then look the last page. And it's Bubba, right? It looks almost like a keyhole, but it's the shape of a mitten. And what is she doing? She's wondering why one mitten is so big and like out of shape and the other one would fit her grandson perfectly. Isn't that a perfect story for winter about how all the animals work together to make the mitten their home for a little bit so they could take a winter's nap, right? And isn't it great how when the bear sneezed, when the little mouse sat on his nose, right? They all flew out of the mitten and the boy found it so the grandma wouldn't be mad about, you know, making a white mitten that she knew he was not never going to see if he dropped it. I love this story so much, and hopefully you guys did too. Have a great week, superstars, and I'll see you next week with another story.